now turning to new developments in the threats against the life of a Hoosier being held captive by the terror group ISIS. The parents of Peter Kasich today are pleading for their son's life and asking the terrorists to let him go. Kasich, who went to North Central High School, is a former Butler University student and former Iraq War veteran. He was captured one year ago by ISIS while on a humanitarian mission. ABC's Michelle Franson has the very latest as the Indianapolis community waits to hear what happens to one of our own. Please know that we are all praying for you and your safe return. A passionate plea to ISIS from the parents of Abdul Rahman Kasig. The 26-year-old Indiana native was a former member of the Army Rangers who served in Iraq. The extremist Islamic group ISIS, which controls wide regions of Syria and Iraq, captured Kasich one year ago while he was providing humanitarian aid in eastern Syria. He helped train 150 civilians in skills needed to provide medical aid to the people of Syria. His organization gave food, cooking supplies, clothing and medicine to those in need. The plea follows ISIS releasing a video showing the purported beheading of British aid worker Alan Henning and threatening to do the same to Kasich. Henning was the fourth Western hostage killed by ISIS since mid-August. On Saturday, one of his friends mourned his loss. They haven't got no feelings, these people who've done it. They haven't got no morals. They haven't, they haven't got no respect for life. Kasich's family says their son is a peaceful person who had changed his name from Peter to Abdul Rahman and had converted to Islam. We love you and our hearts ache for you to be granted your freedom so we can hug you again and then set you free to continue the life you have chosen, the life of service to those in greatest need. Michelle Franzen, ABC News, New York.